So I'm going to show you how to add categories in your gradebook in Google Classroom. That's a good thing about Google Classroom. You can add your own categories. Okay, so you're just simply going to go to your Google Classroom, and I'm going to go to a specific class. Okay, just go ahead and go to my class, and then after that, I'm going to select grades. Okay, so then I'm going to go to grades. Okay, now here are my assignments. Here's one, one quiz, and here's another one right here, uh, OneDrive scanning. So as you can see, there's some students who didn't turn, even turn it in. So automatically, because I have my categories, it's going to do a class average and then the overall student's average as well. So the way you do that is you're going to go to the settings tab, which is located right in the top right hand corner of your screen, of the screen, this little tool. So go there. After you go to settings, you're going to scroll down. And as you can see, I have my categories assigned. So I'm just not going to, I'm going to go ahead and delete these just to show how it's going to be without categories. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. And as you can see, there's no, there's no grade. There's only a class average. Okay, so now when I want to add categories, I go to the settings tab, the little toolbar, I scroll down, and then I'm going to start adding categories. So, for example, classwork, I'll do, instead, I'm going to change it to percentage. So weighed by category. So I can do total points or I can do weighted by category. I'm going to change it to weighed by category. Okay, so how many percents is, is classwork? So we'll do 20%. So now it says I have 80% remaining. So then I can go, what about quiz? We can do, I'll just do another 20% for the quiz. I don't know. Now 60% left. So add another one. I'll go, we can do projects, and then that project will be, we'll just do, um, we'll do 10%. And then we can do exams slash tests. And then, of course, that's going to be the remainder 50%. Now, automatically, it says there's zero percentage remaining. Let me change this to 30% because that's crazy. And then we'll go 40% for the exams and tests. All right. So after that, I want to select this show overall grade to students because students need to know their grade, overall grade. I want them to know that and their parents to know that every time they sign into Google Classroom. So then, of course, make sure this is weighted by category. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Save at the top right-hand corner. And now, the key is, right now it's not showing anything. So now I need to go into each assignment. So go into Quiz. All right, go to Instructions. And I need to edit this. And I need to add a category. Okay, so the quiz, exactly what it is, it's a quiz. I'm going to save it. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the next assignment, which is OneDrive scanning. I'm going to go to the question. All right, and then I'm going to go click on the three dots, and I'm going to go ahead and edit this homework assignment, and then I'm going to change it to the category, I'm going to change it to classwork. Okay, I'm going to leave everything as 100% for the points because it's going to be weighted by category. After that, I'm going to save it. And then automatically, when I go back to the grade book, it shows class average, it, it shows the percentage of each student. As you can see, Mr. Aranda did not turn in anything. He's got a zero. So when he signs in and checks his classwork and his grades, he'll see that. And then we have Mr. Michael Garcia, who has 100%. Great job. 
So the student will be able to see their overall grade and they know, okay, I need to make sure that I turn in my assignments on time. If you have any questions, just email me at aaron.whitelaw at psgisd.us.